What's up, y'all? This is Pumping Chronicles Day One. So I'm on my way home from work, and I've been wanting to make more YouTube videos, but you know the way my life is set up, it's very difficult because. Let's see, can I turn this light on? It's a little better. Um, well, I don't know if I can drive like that. Is that night? Nice? But um, it's very difficult. The twins are now six months. Um, our junior is, what, like 21 months, 20 months, something like that. It'll be a year in March. Um, it's currently December, the beginning of March. So, I'm sorry, the beginning of December. But like, I've been having some topics that I wanted to talk about. I have three black boys three boys under two years old and I've been thinking what a task it is to raise three back black boys I mean to raise children alone is very difficult and you want to do a good job um, sometimes you overthink things but to raise black boys I feel like it's it's going to be a job that I have to plan strategically um, just because we know the world is not fair um, you, you don't get to choose what race you are and yeah it's almost 2020 but we still have a lot of issues going on um, regarding race police brutality um, just all kind of stuff you know like there's just such a stigma about being a black man and I don't care what anybody says if you're black you have to be ten times smarter faster wiser ten times more humble like ten times ten you have to be that it's it's just it's just really hard um, as a nurse practitioner, I didn't get here because my family had the money. I didn't get here because it was given to me. I got here because I literally had to take it. Everything that I have, all of my success, I had to take it. I literally came from nothing. Um, the first to go to college in my immediate family. So the process has been like it's been difficult because I don't have anybody that I can go and talk to and ask for advice like we don't have generation or upon generations graduating from Harvard or Stanford like it's not like that for my family like a lot of them are living paycheck to paycheck may have been in prison out of prison um, single family household like that's just the way it is so with my family I'm really looking to break generational um, curses and financial bondage is one um, penitentiary or like imprisonment that's another there's just like so so much that I think about of how I I want to do better for my kids and how I want to set up generational wealth and wisdom for my kids like if they don't have to work for somebody I want that um, you know and the good thing about it almost being 2020 is that we have social media at the tips of our fingers we have Google at the tips of our fingers and we can research a lot of things uh, we have cell phones and hands that have video recording. So, yeah, it's a little harder to get away with um, some of these injustices. But at the same time, they have video footage of what's going on in the world. And people still get off. Like um, George Zimmerman. You know, there's just like so many things. Sandra Bland considered a suicide you know like all that stuff um and then we also have these documentaries coming out about like central park five 
before. There's another one. I can't I think it was on Amazon. It's either Amazon or Netflix. It's a movie called The Hate, uh, The Hate You Give or The Hate Me Give, something like that. But there's just like so much going on and um, it's all coming to light. If you have not seen Central Park 5, I don't know what rock you've been living under, but it is a great, 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 um, I don't know if I should say documentary. It's like, it's a depiction of a true life story, but I wouldn't say it's a documentary because you don't really have um, the people that it involved um, giving like a description of what happened. It's more like reenactment, um, but it's really good. And your president <laughs> is involved in it. So basically there were five um, underage black teenagers that were in the cent in Central Park in New York. Um, they were just out there wilding out as they call it. And a white woman happened to be raped. And these boys were prosecuted and put away in jail for years. Um, I think one guy spent like 13 years in there, you know, raped. It's just like a bunch that went on. And he was innocent. Um, but your president, he bought thousands and thousands of dollars worth of ads to put these black boys away in prison. He said that they should get the death penalty. And he was saying this even before um, they went to jur they went to court and like had jury and all of that. So he was persuading these black men to be put to death before they were even determined to be innocent or guilty or guilty. So what's up with America? I thought everybody was proven was innocent until proven guilty in the court of law, but that's not the case with these little black boys. And it's just sad. There are a lot of studies out there that show that um, black men, black boys get harsher punishments, end up going to jail instead of like a boot camp or probation, you know, so on and so forth. But I mean, that's neither here nor there. <coughs> and I guess I can't really worry about all of that. I just have to focus on raising them how excuse me <coughs> raising them in a positive environment and thank god I have a good job and a husband where we can afford to put them into activities and to send him or send them to like camps and just like we can afford the opportunities that are needed um, here in 2020 
nobody in my family owns a home, so I can't move in with them. I wasn't able to do that out of college. I've been paying rent ever since um, I graduated, and it's just like such an inflation of rent. Um, so, but yeah, I could go on and on about that. But the Bay Area is just like so overrated right now. Rent and mortgages, it's just like, it's not worth what you're paying for. just really working on building well-rounded um, boys and let me know like how you guys are uh, training your boys up to, to do right and to be good people you know I'm not a perfect parent sometimes I get frustrated um, granted my kids are young so I'm sure the frustration <laughs> hasn't even started yet but I just want to make sure that I'm doing a good job from the cradle on up. If you guys have any um, suggestions on what to do, how to do it, please let me know. Because I, I just want them to be good people and I don't want to have some poor story. You know, it's just like a lot going on. And, but yeah, so comment down below if you have any suggestions. had a great Thanksgiving and Merry Christmas and hopefully I can upload a little bit more often even if I have to do these pumping chronicles in the car either to or from work it's usually about a 15 to 20 minute drive um, but yeah I'm just like hoping to get more into it all right so bye